things like self-arbitrating contracts. Today, if you're signing a contract and you disagree, you go to a judge and the judge decides who's in the right. If the contract can do that, you don't need the judge, you don't need the court. This is Ethereum technology. In the next step, again, you have incorporation. You can issue shares, you can issue dividends with counterparty technology built on the blockchain. And you obviously ask yourself, well, what court could possibly recognize such a company? But they're not using courts. They're using self-arbitrating contracts with Ethereum technology. And the next step, again, you can use the blockchain to, uh, for land registry, social services, using BitNation technology. And it, these technologies are actually out-competing the government's core services on its own terms. So if Bitcoin shows that we don't need a central bank, the blockchain technology asks exactly why do we need a central government?